stitch number 35, loop stitch. You're going to work this stitch from right to left, and I'm working along two parallel lines, and I've come up in the center of those two lines. So there's one up here and one down here. The first stitch is just a little diagonal stitch from the top line to the bottom line. And you can see that that thread where I came up is sort of centered. And that creates this little diagonal stitch. Next, I'm going to form a C with the top edge being above there, and I'm going to scoot underneath that stitch and pull out on top of my thread. And that creates a, creates a nice little loop around that diagonal stitch. Next, I'm going to take another stitch from the top to the bottom line, and this will create a, another little diagonal stitch. I form that C, and I go underneath the diagonal stitch and pull it. So this creates kind of a little woven up the middle ladder, and it's a pretty um, easy little stitch to do. You just get your tension right and that little um, braid will go down through the middle. So a big stitch from the top to the bottom to create a diagonal. Scoot under the diagonal and emerge on top of the thread. And that is all that the loop stitch is. Isn't that fun? You just have to kind of tug on those in the right spot to get them to lay nice and flat and parallel. I'll do a few more here and I'll show you how to end it. Top to bottom line creates a diagonal, scoot under the diagonal, emerging on top of your working thread. And here's my last one. When I want to end, I want it to look like where I began, so I'll just take a stitch a little further ahead, and there is the loop stitch.